Hi everyone, it's Daisy here. Welcome to today's unboxing video. We are unboxing Traveler's Notebook Tokyo Edition. I'm so excited about this. Um, this is a special edition, limited edition Traveler's Notebook item um, featuring a set of products that's releasing April 25th, 2024. And I've seen pictures of these and I'm really, really excited to finally get my hands on them. This is kind of a first reaction too because it's the first time that I'll be looking at them, opening them and seeing the inside of them. So let's begin. Um, in this set, there are six different products and this is interesting because Travelers has done limited uh, sets like this before, but usually in the past, the sets that we've seen with all of the different products cohesive to one theme have been in one big box set. But this time for the Traveler's Notebook Tokyo Edition, all of these items are actually available individually as separate purchases. So I think that's kind of nice because a lot of people at this point maybe do have multiple Traveler's Notebooks and maybe they don't want to get like yet another leather cover for their collection, but maybe they just want some charms or a pencil to um, add to their collection of Traveler's items. For those of you who don't know, the 2024 theme for Traveler's Notebook is Traveler's Town. This is a theme that is released at the end of every year and Traveler's usually makes their planner refills and a set of stationery related to that theme going into the following calendar year. The 2024 theme is Traveler's Town. So it makes perfect sense that the first town or the town that they're featuring in this set is actually Tokyo because it is sort of like Traveler's Company, Traveler's Notebooks, hometown. And that is where the uh, Traveler's Factory Shop can be found, the first location of it in Nakameguro, and um, where a lot of their production takes place. So let's take a look at these items in the Traveler's Notebook Tokyo collection. We'll take a look at the actual Traveler's Notebook itself. This is how it's packaged, and it is a black leather Traveler's Notebook with some foil detailing and I'm excited to see the foil detailing. You can see here that these are the designs and I don't know if you can tell, but these are different landmarks and icons of Tokyo. There's Mount Fuji and I believe that's either Tokyo Sky Tree or Tokyo Tower, I'm not sure which one. Um, and then some different like, you know, iconic foods, plants, fauna of Tokyo. So let's look at the black leather cover that the Traveler's Notebook comes with. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. This is really cool. These icons actually, I hope you can make out that they are meant to spell out Tokyo. So you have the T-O-K-Y-O -O over here. And I'm just gonna kind of um, rotate this a little bit and hopefully you can see that the foil detailing on the uh, imprint here, on the embossing, actually makes it uh, iridescent and it's very cool. It's kind of like a hologram the way it reflects the light. Um, inside the Tokyo Edition Traveler's Notebook, it comes with one refill, which is also available separately. This refill is letterpress printed with embossing, with gold foil embossing. Gold and black is sort of the color theme, color story of this set. And then there's all these different landmarks and iconic things that you can find in Tokyo from the desserts, the taiyaki, the cream soda, karaoke, sushi, to the landmarks, Mount Fuji, sumo wrestlers, the temples, and all of these things. And inside the refill is just a MD paper white blank refill. How cute. On the back of this refill, it actually says, please enjoy asking people you meet to write messages or use stamps here to collect memories of your time in Tokyo. So this is for other people to leave messages for you in your notebook, in your travels in Tokyo. 
And then there's kind of like some little travel tools going on back here. Okay, so that is the actual traveler's notebook itself. Next up, we're going to look at the two refills that are available. This one we looked at earlier. If you're getting the actual leather colored traveler's notebook that you can see here, it comes with this refill inside, but it is also available separately if you feel like you don't need a brand new traveler's notebook. Um, this refill I'm super excited about. It's so cute. It is called a refill postcard. It has this really cute design on the cover of all of these Tokyo things and it's very postage stamp themed. It even has like a little Japanese mailbox here. And then there's all these sort of Japanese postage stamp themed items with travel icons in Tokyo. So on this cover, it says, write your precious memories made in Tokyo on postcards and send them to your loved ones. So the whole point of this is, it's very travel themed. The whole point of this is that you can watercolor something, draw something, use a stamp on the front of the postcard, write your message here on the back of the postcard, and then over here, you're actually going to keep track of who you wrote this postcard to, when you sent it, and the place you were at where you wrote it. Um, this part is perforated, so you can tear off the actual postcard once you've created your artwork and written your message, and you can tear it off, put a stamp on it, and it's actually a mailable postcard. And there's a little memo page as well. It's kind of like a checkbook, I guess, if you will. Um, just it, it, you have a little receipt for yourself of what you've sent away to another person. This refill, this postcard refill, is printed on the Traveler's watercolor paper. So it actually is a very thick like paper that is watercolor friendly, definitely ink friendly, and it will take multiple sorts of mediums. Even if you were to stamp on it, it would be very stamp friendly as well. And the back of this is so cute too. So that was a look at the refills that you get in this collection. Next, we're going to look at some of the accessories that you can find in this collection, starting with the stickers. These are pretty sizable stickers. These are pretty much like on the same level as lots of other traveler stickers with really cute, colorful designs and silver or gold foil, usually gold foil uh, in the printing. So, there's a sushi themed one, so cute. It says, have a nice trip, Traveler's, Nokio, to, Traveler's Notebook in Tokyo. Um, and then there's these swan boat ones. I guess maybe that's an iconic thing in Tokyo, which I don't know about. If anybody knows, let us know. Here's the taiyaki. Oh, this one is so cute. The whole thing is gold foil, oh my gosh. Um, of course, sakura cherry blossoms. Um, there you have more iconic things in Tokyo and of course a lantern, this beckoning cat, a bowl of ramen, a sumo wrestler, cream soda. So all these very like iconic landmark things and you can use these stickers to decorate any of your refills, maybe to decorate a postcard that you're gonna send somebody. Um, and just enjoy enjoy little stickers of the landmarks of Tokyo on your travels. Okay, the next thing is the brass charms. There are two brass charms that you get in this set. One is meant to be used um, as a charm on the cover of the Traveler's Notebook, and another one is supposed to be used on the bookmark tassel of your Traveler's Notebook. Here's the taiyaki little fish charm and so it comes with this string which you can use on a traveler's notebook or you can use on another item that you have what's great about these recent charms from traveler's notebook is that actually they have this um this threading through the hole. So there's like this long, uh, this long section in the back that allows you to thread something through it 
And really um, what it does is creates like a very stable charm on the cover of your traveler's notebook so that your charm can always be oriented in the proper way because before charms were made like this, they often would flip to the other side, they might flip to the back side, and sometimes you just can't tell what the charm is. So this backing actually makes it very, very uh, suitable and easy to use on the, on the uh, cover of a traveler's notebook. Okay, the next part of the charm is this little cherry blossom here, which comes with the same string as well. And this is actually meant to be used um, tied onto the bottom of the bookmark tassel of your traveler's notebook as a cute little charm for your bookmark tassel, but you can use it um, in lots of different ways as well. Last up is this pencil here. It's the brass pencil. This is a core product of Travelers. It's typically seen in all brass, and this limited edition uh, Tokyo edition version of the brass pencil comes with white brassing and printed with some of the iconic landmarks of Tokyo. This is a really cool um, pencil for those of you who don't know it. It comes with just like this really tiny pencil like this, which fits into this part of the pencil and once you post the back of the pencil onto the pencil, it becomes a full-size pencil, which is really great for sketching and um, anything like that. The wooden part of this pencil is actually refillable. Um, so Travelers has replacement pencils in I think a set of two or three. So you're meant to use the brass part of this pencil, the pencil holder, for a very long time. This set also includes replacement erasers, which is a really nice touch. And I love the fluorescent orange of them. It's kind of really fun. It's a bright, fun pop of color. Okay, so there you have it. That was the Traveler's Notebook Tokyo Edition. There are six different items in this collection. And if you get the leather notebook cover, it does come with the blank refill already inside. So it's like two in one. Um, let us know what you think of this set. This is so popular. We've been getting so many requests for when we're getting more because we have already sold out of it. We do have more coming out, but let us know what your favorite item in this collection is. For me, it's definitely the postcard refills, but a lot of our team members have gotten the brass charms already. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.